Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR, guys. We're going to be um, doing a little patrol in uh, the Sandy Shores area with this nice Sheriff uh, Blaine County skin. Um, I got a bunch of them for all different kinds of vehicles, so hopefully we'll be doing a, um, a Sheriff week if we can. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be out here in this um, nice Tahoe with uh, ELS, of course. And uh, we're just going to be cruising, so um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and get out there on patrol. Let's make ourselves available for calls if we can. Perfect. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We've got a possible 484. Are we have a uh, Sandy Shore shop of doing here? This is probably going to be right up here on the... Uh, 24-7 I think up here. Let's go take a look at it. Uh, see if we can see anything. Um, let's see. Hold on. We have a okay. 148 and... Which has reportedly escaped from the store and is now being chased by security. Apprehend. Oh, there he is right there. <laughs> As I'm reading the freaking dialogue. Alright, there he is right there. We can get a couple more units on here. Just to Assistance required on see if we can stop Neyland them. Avenue. Respond code three. Alright, sir. All right, we're gonna be running down, uh, we're gonna be going northbound on Nyland Avenue. Cross of Algonquin. Kind of like, tased them. Yeah, that's a nice security guard for that store. I'm surprised. Alright, he's gonna be putting him in cuffs. Just watch now as it, as it all happens. <laughs> Let the security guard take care of him. We're just here on a backup, so um, I think we're all good. So, um, yeah, that guy was captured, which is good. Um, you guys see this car right here? It's actually a really cool skin that I messed up before I recorded this, so that's why it looks like that. It's all, like, dirty and stuff. I was trying to mess with the skins, and, of course, I messed it up right before I was supposed to record. But, um, yeah, so just ignore that if you guys can. <laughs> just focus on this beautiful-looking Tahoe. Um, but, yeah, guys, that was, uh... Pretty simple. I'm going to go back to the store here, talk to the shopkeeper for a victim statement. Okay. So we'll go down here real quick. We'll talk to the, um, we'll talk to the uh, shopkeeper. See what he says or, or her. See what they have to say about this. Um, all right, man. How's it going? Uh, hey, thanks for coming back to me. Uh, the, that person just ran, uh, just ran away. Stole quite a few items. Uh, the estimated value of the items was ninety dollars. Uh, they also hit our security guard. Make sure to throw the book at them. All right. Sounds good, man. Thanks. Attention. This All right. We're gonna be code four. No further units required. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln, 18. We have a person carrying a knife, and... Yeah, we have a person with a knife. Looks like they're going to be right behind us here. Um, this book is stabbing a victim. Hmm. This is going to be right here, too. Yeah, right here. Oh, God. Oh, I missed her. Okay. Get her out. Ma'am, get on the ground. On the ground, ma'am. On the ground. On the ground, ma'am. Oh, she... Okay, you see that? See what she just did right there? We gotta get EMS down here. Jesus Christ. No, get out of the back. No. Okay. So freaking stupid. Can I turn off the siren, please? Thank you. God. All right, so we need. Uh, we're gonna get an Amazon scene right here. They should be here. They should be here pretty quick. Um, now I have freaking everything in my arsenal right now. Can I search it back in my truck? Um, hello. Okay, here comes the fire department right here. We're gonna see what these guys are. Uh, can I? Yeah, thank you. We're gonna see what's going on. She's if she's gonna be alive, which I doubt she is, because people always die from. I don't know. Actually, I've actually never hit, because, uh, like, you know when you hit a subject that close with their gun, they automatically die? I've never actually tried to, like, uh, roll an EMS for them before. So this is going to be my first time trying to see if they live or they, All right, give me they survive. Something. This person should definitely live, I think. Even though there's blood all over the place, but... He only got stabbed twice, I think. I only saw twice of stabbing. 
And if I would have hit her first time with my car, oh, she would have been done and I would have saved that guy. But you know, it doesn't go like that. <laughs> they didn't make it. But yeah, so she's dead. Um, so I'm going to go and roll a corner service after we see what this guy's doing. They're both dead? God. Okay. Um, oh, not again. Let's see. If we go to... Let's grab... Let's go and try to get a... Uh, tow truck down here. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. Corner, please. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to get the corner down here. Corner's going to go and pick up these bodies, and then we should be uh, code far off this one. This was a pretty rough one, though, because... Um, if I would have, now it's going to lay on my conscience, you know, if I would have hit them, the, if I would have hit her the first time when I was going past, I could have freaking saved that guy's life, but apparently not. You know, sometimes it happens, I gotta live with it, and there goes that guy down, too. <laughs> God. Come on, corners, let's go. I'm on the clock. Taking pictures of that guy, and that girl, and we should be, oh, God. That truck looks huge, doesn't it, where I'm at? I look really small, huh? Alright, seems because of the uh, stab... Yeah, it was a stab, and thanks for telling me. What are you playing at? Dude, just go take a freaking picture of the body. God. Okay, so this looks uh, pretty good to go. Um, they're going to get back in the car, and we are going to be code 4 off of this stabbing one. Attention, all units. We have a suspicious vehicle in Grand right, We have a, a suspicious vehicle in Grand Sonora Desert, Desert here. We're going to go ahead and take this call. This is actually a pretty good uh, call we should take. Because um, I am blank. Oh my. What are you doing, dude? God. Um, because I am uh, a sheriff's deputy out here, I'm actually a, shar uh, a sergeant. I'm actually a sergeant. I'm actually a sergeant. So um, it's going to be. Uh, I'm not a sheriff's deputy, I'm a sergeant, but I'm just in the sheriff's deputy car. But yeah, so we're going to do all of Blaine County pretty much, because we're uh, in Blaine County Sheriff. So we're not going to stay in Sandy Shores, that little town that we started in, but we're actually going to really, you know, go out and look around and see what's going on here. But um, yeah, we're going to respond to the suspicious vehicle. Looks like it's going down on um, Smoke Tree Road right now. Going to be making a, a right on Panorama, I think. Making a left left on panorama here so we're gonna be going uh, uh southbound panorama right now um i'm gonna try to light her up if i can um, i probably want to turn off my lights right now because that's kind of weird yeah, so i'm gonna try to uh looks like they're running for me are they gonna run hmm are you running for me i think they're gonna run for me here so um we're in pursuit with a looks like a blue emperor Blue Emperor with its top down, so it's going to be convertible. We're going to be going um, eastbound, actually. Eastbound, Route 68. Going right over uh, Route 13 Prius. Oh, my God. Yeah, people are idiots these days. I hate them. Look at the double sirens going. Should we just get a stop? And I love this vehicle because if you hold the high... I can't even speak today. If you hold the siren down, you can... Um, I mean, if you do the horn, see how the top light just goes steady like that? Only when you do the horn, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to get a, um, a local air unit on this right now. We're not going to get the... Um, I don't want to get the uh, pursuits. I might, you know, I might actually get a couple, uh, couple of these guys in here. They usually just make it way more harder for us to do our job. All right. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Nice block. Out of the car. Out of the car. Don't you shoot me. Ooh. Okay. He can be on the ground. We're going to go ahead and put him in cuffs right now. You covering me? You covering me? Okay, there we go. I'm going to get him under arrest here. Um, I'm actually going to uh, request that if we can hold these roads down so if we can close the nearby roads. Because we're going to go and do some investigation right now. And last guy one is a bunch of uh, freaking civilians running to us. And like, all right, sir, I'm gonna have you go and step over here to the side of the road. We're gonna go and do our investigation real quick, and I'll come to you in a second. All right? Um, if I can have, I'm actually gonna deal with you right now. Actually, can you turn around for me, or am I gonna have to get behind you? Thank you. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Don't turn the ground for me, sir. Okay, so do you have anything that's gonna poke you, stick me, or anything that's gonna hurt me in your pockets? Okay, I'm gonna go and search you real quick. 
Um, I want to turn off my siren too. Um, okay, we found nothing on him, so let me go and turn off my siren if I can. The word is that to turn off your siren, you press G key on the outside, and it turns it off. But that's also my search key, so sometimes you'll want to search a vehicle, and it's really annoying. But um, all right, sir. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and breathalyze you just for uh, right now, just to make sure you haven't been drinking or anything like that. And then we're gonna go and search a vehicle as well. So looks, luckily we close a nearby road, so there's not gonna be a bunch of freaking traffic running into us and stuff like that. See what the breathalyzer comes back as. He looked pretty steady on his valid to provide a valid. Okay, so he's definitely going to be going under arrest today. Even though he already did felony evading, but, um... Yeah, if you guys don't know, if you guys, um... Ever want to uh, provide a breath sample, and, um... I mean, if you guys don't want to, if the officer says, Can we do a breath test, uh, breathalyzer test, and you don't want to do it, you automatically go to jail, and they do it at the jail. So, um... So he's going to be going to jail for that, and we're going to do a breathalyzer there, or a, actually, a blood test there. It's going to be more accurate. But then... They can also, because um, what ha what would happen is, is they will want to, um, like a lot of people actually want to do the blood test, because when they, the time it takes for them to get to the station, the alcohol level in their body will go down. So it's actually going to be better for them. They're going to get a, a better, um, kind of better chance of, you know, getting under that uh, .08 limit. So, um, a pocket knife in there, a camera. I'm just going to search those two things. I don't need to search anything else. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a tow truck down here for this vehicle. If we can, there we go. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and get a uh, prisoner transport down here for the vehicle. Assistance required. And then we're going to go ahead and um, try to move our vehicle out of the way, too, for these guys to come through. I know this toter's going to want to ram me super hard, so should we get out of the way? I'm going to try to flip around real quick on... Um, on this guy right here. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so this is going to be, I mean, that was pretty simple. I'm happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and call this a like, code four, and then we'll be back with uh, another call out if we get one or whatever we're going to be doing. All right, dude. <laughs> All right, so let's say we're going to be on a traffic stop on this uh, Jeep. Jeez, you're flying, dude. Hey, we're going to be on a traffic stop with this guy. Um, let's see if he's going to want to stop here. Oh, I shouldn't let him up right here. That was stupid of me. Let's go ahead and do uh, the Mimic, try to get him ahead a little bit here. I really hate the Mimic. It's actually, it's good, but it's like, it's still kind of annoying, like at a certain point. Go stop right there. Um, it's just because you have to like, I always run into the vehicle. I don't know if you get to the same thing with you. When like you're trying to Mimic them and like they, s they slam on the brakes and you accidentally freaking smash right into the back of them. Um, alright, so we're gonna go and talk to this guy real quick, if you guys didn't realize why I'm pulling him over, because he pulled out right in front of me, but uh, let's go and talk to him or her, whatever it is, probably, yeah. I know, alright. Hey man, how's it going? Um, the reason I'm pulling over today is because he pulled out right in front of me over there by that, um, that one bone over there, I'm, um, kind of missing it right now, but yeah, that's why I'm pulling you over. If I can just have license, registration, and proof of insurance, that would be great, and then we can hey. go in and get you out of here, okay? Alright, thank you. Alright, hold on, sit right tight, Jonathan. I told him to sit right tight real quick, Jonathan Moore. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to run his information real quick. I do love the police computer though. This is so sick. I'm really been digging this. Um, Jonathan Moore. So he's gonna be uh, valid. No wanted. Time stop just two. Not that big of a deal. Um, 35. Let's see. If we go back to his car now, let's go look at his car. See what his car's doing. Um, his mace is all valid. I think everything looks good here. I am gonna be giving him a citation though. So we're gonna make a citation here. It's gonna be a Jeep if that's even a thing in here. So. Uh, What's your SUV? Um, it's going to be for um, operation. And it's going to be improper uh, violation of right of way. And we're going to go ahead and finish that. Now it's going to be created something just like that. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and log out. Let's make sure our these guys are disabled, our key bindings, because whenever we do that, then a guy comes up behind us. Because uh, this, because uh, watch, you see up here and it says, uh, oh. Did I finish it? Alright, so hold on one second, sir. Sorry. Um, that's weird, because usually when... We see in here, we got Pen Database, Jonathan Moore. We're going to do Traffic Citation. I think it's color gray. Um, it's gonna, we're just going to do a uh, SUV here. I can do this again. Sorry, guys. Operation. It's a violation of right away. We're going to go and finish it. That's Now it's done, right? Okay. So now if we exit out... We button, we get out. And now if we go up to him, I should say we can give him the ticket, right? Yeah, so 
Uh, left control and page up. If I do that with my key bindings on for my um, for my script, uh, so if I do this and page up, yeah, if I do this when my key bindings are on for this uh, for my F3 menu, these guys will spawn right behind me and they'll destroy me, <laughs> and so I can't do that. So um, yeah, so that gonna be giving a ticket for the violation right away, and we should all be good to go for him. And then we're gonna be back. Uh, code four on this one. We should go ahead and take off now. Alright, these guys love pulling out on us today. That's very weird for me. I don't know what's going on with that. So, um, he's gonna pull up even farther, please, sir. Yep, we're gonna pull up with the Emperor. Pull up. Hold on right there, sir. Stop right there, it's beautiful. Let's try to reposition ourselves here without freaking killing anybody. It's like that. Pe beautiful. There's going to be like a weird uh, reddish emperor here. It looks like the older style, though. Um, yes, everyone's pulling out in front of me today. I have my times, too. Alright, sir, how's it going? The reason I pulled you over today is because you put out right in front of me at the, um, on the off-ramp on that freeway. Um, I just need your license, right. registration, proof of insurance, please, get and we can get you out of here, okay? Thank you, Clint. Alright, so we got Clint right here. Just probably going to be the exact same thing that we did last time. Hopefully they do something interesting, like run away from us or not. I don't know what they're gonna do, but um, make sure he's all clean here. Yeah, he's all clean on his uh, on his life and stuff like that. Let's check his vehicle, his emperor. I bet you there's something on his emperor. Nope, it's all good to go. Valid, valid, valid. All good. We are gonna create a traffic citation for him too. So let's go ahead and go to Clint. Go to um, traffic citation. It's gonna be a red color emperor. It's gonna be a more of a um, more of a uh, more of a coupe, I think. Um, let's see, operation, just the same thing that we did last time, operation, violation of right away, we're going to go and finish that, exit, 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 we can get out of here, go talk to him real quick, tell him what's going on. Alright Clint, so it's going to be about $150 citation for uh, you violating that right of way, um, no big deal, just be a couple points on your record, but um, nothing that... Uh, you can't get, you know, you can't uh, take care of. But, um, yeah, so you can just go ahead and sit tight right here until you get back on the vehicle and you go ahead and drive away, okay? Thank you so much. Alright, so Clint's gonna be all good to go. I am gonna go ahead and call the episode off here, guys. It's been about, um, 24 minutes of me recording. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more on the channel, see about you guys go check it out. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.